Hello everyone. Welcome to IntelliPath's YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be telling you the difference between Bitcoin and Ethereum. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and also hit on the bell icon so that you will never miss an update from us. The agenda for uh, today's uh, video will be the following topics. Firstly, I'll be talking about uh, what exactly is cryptocurrency. I'll uh, be breaking down the formal definition. And next, I'll move on to why there are so many uh, cryptocurrencies. Uh, this makes people confused as to uh, which cryptocurrency to invest in. So I'll be ex uh, talking about that briefly. Uh, next, I'll be moving on to the important uh, topic uh, of today's video that is Bitcoin versus Ethereum. Uh, next, I'll move on to the similarities between the two. And finally, I'll be talking about uh, is it a good idea to invest in uh, cryptocurrencies uh, right now. Let us start this video by looking at some of the most uh, popular cryptocurrencies. They are uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, Dogecoin, Litecoin, uh, Bitcoin Cash, Filecoin, Ethereum Classic, Monero and Helium are some of the most popular cryptocurrencies. You might wonder what uh, exactly a cryptocurrency is. So cryptocurrency is a type of digital or virtual currency that uses encryption to safeguard transaction. As the name suggests, uh, cryptocurrency, uh, crypto stands for cryptography. So this uses cryptography to uh, safeguard your uh, transactions. Now, there is uh, something you might think, why there are so many cryptocurrencies if they all are just a kind of digital money? The reason being that the cryptocurrency market is a vast space populated by millions of people who trade in an apparently limitless number of assets. Thousands of projects compete for user liquidity and attention in order to become the top crypto coin. They use anything from complicated schemes and uh, scams to smart marketing strategies to persuade users of the high value of their offerings and they are the finest long term crypto investment. So these uh, cryptocurrencies, all of the cryptocurrencies that are coming up are uh, basically uh, competing with themselves to become the top cryptocurrency. That is why we see a lot of cryptocurrencies in the market nowadays. So now let's learn about the two most popular cryptocurrencies that is Bitcoin and Ethereum and how they are different from each other. At the most basic level, both uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum are decentralized digital money based on blockchain technology that can be used over the internet. So you might think how Bitcoin is different from Ethereum. Let us take a look at that. Bitcoin was created as a substitute for traditional currencies as well as a medium of commerce and a store of wealth. While on the other hand, Ethereum is a programmable uh, blockchain that may be used for a variety of things such as uh, decentralized finance, smart contracts and NFTs. While distributed ledgers and cryptography are at the heart of both uh, the Bitcoin and Ethereum networks, the two are vastly different in terms of technology. Transactions on the Ethereum network, for example, uh, may include executable code, but uh, data attached to Bitcoin network transactions is often used merely to keep transactions uh, track. Block time is completed in seconds compared to the minutes for a Bitcoin and the algorithms uh, they use are uh, SHA-256 for Bitcoin and uh, Atash for Ethereum and uh, these are the notably uh, distinct features of Bitcoin and Ethereum. But more crucially, the Bitcoin and Ethereum networks are not the same in terms of their overall goals. While Bitcoin was founded as a substitute for national currencies and so seeks to be means of exchange and a store of value. Ethereum was uh, designed as a platform for uh, immutable programmable contracts and applications using its own cryptocurrency, that is Ether. Although Bitcoin and Ethereum are both digital currencies, the fundamental goal of Ether is to facilitate and monetize the Ethereum smart contract and decentralized app platform rather than to establish itself as an alternative monetary system. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPad provides blockchain certification training mentored by industry experts, the course link of which is given in the description below. Now let's continue with the session. Ethereum is another example of a blockchain that supports the Bitcoin network but does not compete with it in theory. However, Ether's success has forced it to compete with all the cryptocurrencies, particularly from the standpoint of traders. Since its debut in uh, mid-2015, Ether has ranked second to Bitcoin in terms of market capitalization for most of its existence. Bitcoin is compared to digital gold since it was the first cryptocurrency and is the largest with a market capitalization of more than 1 trillion US dollars. 
while its limited uh, supply uh, that is the maximum number of bitcoins that can be mined is 21 million you can uh, there are uh, no you cannot manufacture extra bitcoins after 21 million uh, units so this ensures that it preserves its value because it is the second largest cryptocurrency by a uh, market capitalization i'm talking about ethereum here and like the precious metal has a wide range of applications ethereum is compared to digital silver now let us uncover what ethereum and bitcoin have in common both of these cryptocurrencies work on blockchain technology uh, which involves a concept of operating through a decentralized network of computers that share an increasing record of transactions these systems are accessible to the public and based on open source software allowing developers to contribute and improve them both networks rely on miners who complete the complicated calculations required to authenticate transactions in exchange for newly generated digital money. Proof of work is a type of verification method that has come under fire in recent years for the amount of energy it consumes and the pollution that it produces. While comparisons are debatable, uh, one estimate claims that uh, Bitcoin network consumes more electricity in a year than the country of Sweden. Now, is it a good idea to invest in cryptocurrencies? Cryptocurrency trading has become a relatively hot topic in recent times. There are some key considerations you should take into account before investing. The value of these assets is anticipated to rise if Bitcoin becomes a generally accepted form of currency or the Ethereum network becomes a widely accepted standard for distributed computing. What is evident is that the massive rises in value we witnessed over the last 5 years have been largely attributed to speculative investment that is people buying them in hopes of uh, later selling them for a higher price to someone else. In the end, uh, useful applications will be required to achieve long-term growth. More businesses are embracing Bitcoin as a form of payment while the Ethereum network is becoming more widely utilized and supported. So now that we know a bit about uh, cryptocurrencies and uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum in general, I'll be concluding this video. While Bitcoin and Ethereum are both cryptocurrencies, digital money transfer systems that employ blockchain technology and encryption, there are significant distinctions in how they work and uh, what they may be used that uh, people are unaware of. If you're going to invest for speculative purposes or uh, even if you're thinking about using either platform for uh, businesses, it is critical to grasp the distinctions as they could determine which currency becomes a widely acknowledged standard and which fades into obscurity and worthlessness. Thank you for watching till the end guys. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPad provides blockchain certification training mentored by industry experts the course link of which is given in the description below.